Hi, this is Precious Okafor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to be showing you the specifications to look out for when you're choosing a PC to purchase for live streaming. Basically, in this video, I'm going to be focusing on PC users. I'll just drop a hint or two for Mac users, but in a later video, I'm going to be focusing on the specifications to look out for that will be for Mac users. One of the things that prompted me to record this video right now are the questions I've gotten from a lot of media people from different churches, people that stream personally their own content on YouTube. They're asking, why am I having a choppy video on my streaming? Why is my video lagging? Why is it choppy? Why is the movie breaking? Why is it not smooth? And that's why I'm doing this video. One of the reasons why you have that kind of video quality is because of the PC you are using. Not all PC is built for streaming. You have PC that are built for studies and for students. Then you have PC that is basically for work, with Microsoft Word and stuff. Then you have PCs built for gaming. And those PCs that are built for gaming are the exact kind of PC that will be very good for live streaming and also video editing. There are also PCs that will be good for graphics design but might not be exactly very good for live streaming. For this video, we're going to cover the PC you need that is going to give you a very smooth quality when you're doing your live stream. There are a couple of factors I'm going to be mentioning. First one is your storage of the PC. How large is the storage? Typically, I advise you to go for at least 500 gig SSD storage, not HDD because the SSD, which is a solid stage drive, has faster read and write speed than HDD. I had this experience one time where I bought a PC and it came with 128 gig SSD hard drive and the PC was very fast. I was using it, but within one month, you know, the drive got filled up and I had to Go for a larger one and i got 500 gig hdd and i didn't know my pc just all of a sudden became very slow very laggy it would take five minutes to just boot and everything was just too slow normally my pc boots under 15 seconds so i was researching online and that's when i found out that there's a huge difference between hdd and ssd and ssd has the most quality because of its faster read and write speed and that's when i had to go for a one terabyte ssd because you know i'm going to be doing a lot of video editing so i I work with bulk files, so I didn't want to always have to change my HDD. So I went for one terabyte SSD and I regained the same kind of speed I was experiencing in my laptop when I had the 128 gig with SSD. And that is why I'm saying in this video, if you're going for a PC, please make sure it's an SSD hard drive, it's not HDD, because that's one of the things that's going to make your live streaming very smooth and your PC very fast. Also, it will help your PC not to hang you know, why you're live streaming. Because we've also experienced the PC having to hang while you're live streaming, it just hangs and you have to shut down everything and reboot the PC to continue. This happens when your PC doesn't have enough space and also if you're using HDD. So when you have at least 500 gig ROM, it should do the job if it's an SSD. And if you want something higher, you can go for the one terabyte SSD. The next feature I'm gonna be talking about, there are three. And uh, I'm gonna be doing this collectively but one after the other is the CPU, your GPU, and your RAM. And these three things are different. Your CPU for central processing, you need the GPU, your graphics processing, you need, and then the RAM, which is your random access memory. For Mac users, these three elements were brought together and merged into one chip, which is called the SOC, system on a chip. That's what you call the M1 chip and the M2 chip for the Mac users. These are the things you look out for. You also made the map faster and better in quality in delivery for live streaming and graphics related jobs. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on PC users. So the first thing is your CPU, which is essentially the brain of your PC. And you want to make sure that your PC has Core i5, Core i7 and above. So if you have, if your PC is Core i5, Core i7 and above, I think that's good enough for a start. You have, since you're not doing heavy duty editing and motion graphics stuff. So I think this is good enough for you for i7, for i5. The next thing you want to look out for is your GPU, the graphics processing unit. This essentially handles the quality of your video graphics. It's called Video RAM, VRAM. I advise you to look for a PC with at least two gig dedicated VRAM, that is video card. This will help you to have a very smooth live stream, no choppiness, no lags, no hanging. Everything is just going to go smooth with you. And uh, presently, my PC uses a two gig dedicated RAM. That is good enough. So if you can get one, that would be very good for a starter. And the last feature I'm gonna handle in this video is your RAM, which is your random access memory. Your RAM is in charge of handling multiple tasks at once. 
So if you have a lot of softwares working simultaneously in your PC, then your RAM has to be you know, big enough to be able to handle each of them at the same time and not make your system, your laptop to be very slow. This is why you need to go for an 8 gig RAM PC and above. If you actually have the budget, I advise you to go for 12 gig RAM, 16 gig RAM and 32 gig RAM. If you're going to be doing high level live streaming and video editing, then you can just top up your budget and go for a 16 gig RAM. If your budget is below $1,000, then I advise you not to go for a new laptop, just go for a used laptop that has all these features. You can go to Back Market or eBay, there are a lot of used laptops. You can filter by used laptops and you can see, you can also filter by prices to see laptops within the range of your budget. And if you have the money to get a new one, your budget can be uh, upwards of $1,500, $2,000 and then you get a very good PC with all these specification I just listed right now. That is it, you get to choose, you know your budget, what level of work the PC is gonna be used for, so you can determine what features you can you get, you can um, be okay with. But essentially for a starter, just a regular live stream for your charge, 500 gig SSD with two gig dedicated RAM and 16 gig RAM is perfect for you. You don't need any other thing. If you can get this under $1,000, that will be perfect. Before you outgrow it and then you have the capacity to go for something of higher specification. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please, I'm going to ask you to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you get updated every time we drop a video on this channel. If you have any questions relating to this video, trying to make a purchase, we have to make a purchase, please leave a comment below and I'll be there to reply you.